coming up in just a few weeks, you have a chance to help Special Olympics meet a growing need to support athletes in Canyon County. The Inspired Gala is the evening of May 17th at Stillwater Hollow in Nampa. And this fundraising gala will bring together people who understand just how meaningful Special Olympics is and how it inspires all of us to be all we can be. Two of those people are with us today. You're familiar with Nampa Police Officer Denny Burns. We were following him and talking about him as he was getting ready to represent all of us at the Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi in March. He's back from that safely. The torch got delivered thanks to Officer Burns and many others. And what an experience that was. I want you to tell us more about that in a minute, Denny. But I also want to introduce Christy Kraft. She is the gala organizer and director of field development for Nampa's Special Olympics. And Officer Burns is going to be your special speaker at the gala. So. Officer Burns, give us just a taste of what people are going to get to hear as we look at some pictures of your experience in Abu Dhabi. Uh, what I'm going to share is just really the amazing experience that we had all around. Uh, there was 100 officers over there. Uh, it, I just, in this little bit that here that I just can't get out that, what an experience it was, yeah. life-changing. Um, first time that we've been in the Middle East uh, for the World Games, for Special Olympics. They've really come a long ways over there. Um, we have a, a lot more to do, and we're hoping to really do that here in, in Nampa and in Idaho as well. Well, you had such great support from the Nampa Police Department and so many community members. You and I, you were up on the roof at the donut shop, and yes, we were talking. We were talking about raising money to help make all of that happen. Now, Christy, you need to get the Nampa um, Special Olympics really off the ground because I understand you have a growing need with growing numbers of athletes. Tell me more right. about that. Um, I don't specifically have a number for Canyon County athletes. I mean, I think we probably serve at least 250 athletes just in that area. In Canyon County, in 250. Canyon, at least, and there's probably a lot of athletes that aren't served, you know, at this point, but right. we would like to serve them. Right. And so we're trying to raise money through this gala for our state summer games, which we are hosting in, in Canyon County for the first time in, in the 50 year history of Special Olympics. Wow, but you so, had the World Games at the Idaho Center years ago, yes. so it's a tradition in Nampa to support this. Yes. Now you just need folks to step up right. and really in a big way say, hey, we are a Special Olympics County. We right. embrace this and want to be part of it. Well, let's show the, the graphic again because it's coming up on May 17th at Stillwater Hollow. Uh, that's in Nampa, just north of the Idaho Center. And tickets are $100 each. This is a commitment to say, I want to be a part of something really special. And you were saying, Officer Burns, it does cost money to put these games on. It does. It does cost, a, you know, it's a significant amount of money sometimes, but every dollar that we raise goes straight back to that, those athletes here in Idaho. And it's not just Canyon County. It's there's going to be athletes from all over the state that are going to be here in uh, this summer participating in these games. Well, I can tell you that I know Stillwater Hollow and your organization really planning a special evening. It's going to be something like Nampa has not seen before for Special Olympics. So if you want to get tickets, how do they get tickets? Uh, you, can, you can get tickets at IDSO.org. IDSO.org. Dot org. Okay. Or you can get them um, from any, from the Special Olympics office. Great. By calling the office or from anybody, any of us, any of the volunteers or okay. myself. Well, we'll have a hot link for you, too, okay. at ktvb.com. And so it's going to be a great night. We get to hear from Officer Burns and hear from some athletes, too. You know, you just can't get enough of the stories that come from Special Olympics, you guys. So I hope a lot of folks will come out. All right. Agreed. Yeah, we hope so, too. Dee, thank you.